Hi, welcome to a demonstration of the FireTech firing system by Cotswold Fireworks. In this demonstration we're just showing off that the uh, system is pretty resistant to water or um, ingress of dust and dirt uh, when you sat in a field. Okay, a kitchen isn't really a field but uh, we're just going to show off that uh, you don't have to worry too much about making sure everything's bagged up and uh, in a pristine, clean environment. Most of the time, in most of the sister, the, so should say, the firing sites that we use in the UK, you're stomping around in mud and uh, you know, ploughed fields. So uh, worrying about keeping the fireworks uh, clean and uh, waterproof is uh, one thing, but uh, worrying about having to keep the firing system clean and waterproof isn't so much as a deal anymore when you're working with the fire tech. Uh, like any system, you should really try and keep it as uh, clean and uh, dry as possible because you don't want it going wrong and then find that there is a small piece of uh, debris that's caused your finale to go wrong. But uh, this is just a good example to show that uh, uh, the rails don't have to be kept completely and utterly dry when firing. It's just arming the system and playing the script. The script in this one is as a single rail at 12 firing ports we have using uh, light bulbs to simulate the uh, igniters just to keep the cost down and this particular script is going to repeat the firing of those 12 ports five times each at one second intervals so effectively we've got 60 seconds of fireworks uh, firing Admittedly, in the real world, you wouldn't put an igniter and expect the igniter to fire again, but uh, it does show that the system can fire the same port more than once in one sequence, which is useful if you're not plugging into an igniter and you're actually extending the port out to another firing system in step fire mode, which we use quite a lot of. The second example here is a second rail. Uh, this is going into rail number four. And uh, in this case we've got bulbs on every odd number, so 1, 3, 5 and 9. Um, it's not to show that, uh, again, you can fire underwater or, let's face it, you're not going to fire underwater, why would you want to put your fireworks into a puddle in the first place? But uh, what we're showing off here is that uh, when you're firing a sequence uh, automatically, and let's say you've got several hundred fireworks out there and several modules, uh, what we sometimes like to do is to have a rail with some secondary fireworks that are not part of the show. So when a script is firing, the fire tech can still allow you to manually fire other fireworks on the side. So rail 4, here we go, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, you still fire those other ports. It's quite useful if you suddenly go, hmm, there's a hole, I really need to fill it, and you've got a couple of backup cakes or a couple of backup racks. And that's what this demonstration is showing, is uh, the ability to carry on manual firing even though you have a sequence running already. And the FireTech is capable of handling 255 automated sequences, all firing concurrently. Now it's not just the rails that are waterproof, the module itself, the firing module, which is the most expensive part of the system, floats in water. Now that's great if you're working on a barge and you kick it over the side, at least it's not going to sink to the bottom, you can actually fish it out with a net or a uh, try and retrieve it later on. Uh, in this case the system itself is water resistant or waterproof and we'll do that with just pushing it under the water and it's happily to fire like that as well. Um, certainly not in seawater where uh, the resistance of the water has been considerably reduced but it does go to show that uh, if you're working in heavy rain and you haven't bagged up your firing system you have got plenty of time to bag it up and not worry about the odd shower. And finally, uh, FireTech have told us that if you open the case, the internal system, or the source of your internal hardware is also waterproof, and I think that's proof enough that uh, um, the odd shower when you've got the case open, and the only time you are going to open the case is one to retrieve the uh, antenna and screw it on the side and to turn it on um, on, the, on the field, so you, you shouldn't really have it open that often. But it does go to show that uh, the system is quite happy to fire with the case open. I'd like to thank you for your time in watching this uh, small demonstration of what the FireTech firing system can do uh, when uh, tasked.
us with having to work with uh, heavy rain or considerably damp uh, systems. Uh, as you can see, it will handle it without any worries and should leave you worrying a little less on site on the day. Uh, once again, thank you very much and we will see you again in the next video.